All right, picture this. Back in the day, just like you, I was playing the strongest battlegrounds on my laptop that was probably older than your grandparents. And don't even get me started on the specs. I was dealing with 220 ping and barely 50 FPS. But hey, somehow I survived. Well, um, let's just say it wasn't exactly a walk in the park though. I'm definitely not lying trust but today i'm here to save you from that pain i suffered i put together the ultimate fps and ping boosting pack for the strongest battlegrounds trust me this is as simple as it gets just follow along and you'll be a step closer to finally having fun in the game without any lag let's get you that 240 fps shall we Head over to my discord server and hit up the resources section. You'll find the pack here. Just download it, unzip it and we are almost there. First launch the optimizer software and plug in the settings I'm about to show you on screen. Now I can't guarantee that this will turn you into the next top 1 global PvP god in TSP but it will definitely get you closer with the higher FPS. And no you're not going to go from 2 FPS to 3 FPS. I know that's such a big difference but our difference is bigger. Next up, I've dropped a list of FPS boosting fast flags just for you, my friend. Copy and paste these into your block strap, and trust me, once you load into Roblox, you're going to feel the difference. Blue is impossible. Why legit blue locked? I thought I'm out of gangster. Shit. Go 360 30 times. Now for those ping improvements, I've already created the most perfect guide on YouTube but instead of rehearsing it all, I'll just repeat the key steps here. Plus I've got some new ping boosting fast flags ready for you in my server so make sure you don't miss out. Sit back, relax and enjoy the ping guide coming on your way. This video, I'm going to show you how to actually reduce your ping in the strongest battle times. This is a 5 step framework that will decrease your ping and also increase your FPS. I've realized some of the techs I've covered are harder for higher ping users, so that's why I'm covering ping today. If you were to miss any of the steps, your ping just might stay the same, specifically step 3 and 5, that's the most important. Without wasting any time, let's get started with our first step, find your servers. Now firstly, I would like you guys to install this browser extension. I've listed the link in the description. We'll be using it at the end of the video. But firstly, do you know where you live? Well, of course you do. You live on Earth. Now, to get lesser ping, you have to connect to a server that is closer to you. Like imagine you live in the US and join a server called Tokyo, Japan. Obviously, you're apart by the Pacific Ocean, so your ping is supposed to be high and you can't blame Roblox. Here is a list of all the Roblox servers and list out which ones you are the closest to. Now, note that down and let's go to our next step. Wi-Fi DM. So what is a DNS? And can it even help you decrease your ping? You see, choosing the correct DNS servers would help you potentially decrease your ping in TSP, but will 100% increase your network speed. Alright, this one is going to be quick. For PC users, open command prompt by typing cmd done as admin. Now type ping 8.8.8 .8 and afterwards ping 1.1.1. Now focus on whichever one gives you the lowest kitchen. Head over to adapter settings and then follow where I go. Mainly open your IPv4 settings and now use the one I've listed. Google or Cloudflare, both are fast DNS servers but only one of them is faster for you. It depends on your region. 
choose the best one and let's get to the next step adapter settings now we are going to disable a lot of features that are potentially slowing down your wi-fi for me it's ethernet but we'll have common settings somewhere so just follow along right click on your windows icon and click on device manager now head over to your network driver and go to power saving disable this sometimes your computer might slow down the wi-fi to conserve power which is a big problem now head over to advanced tab try to copy all of my settings specifically for receive buffers and transmit buffers increase it to the maximum values possible also disable these features mainly they are also power saving offloading presets that slow down your pc and and increase the delay in your thing when you're done just save and continue with the next step of the framework which is block strap now let's cover a software that lets you increase your fps and decrease your thing it's called blockstrap head over to the link in the description and download it you are free to watch some videos elsewhere on how to do it but it's just too simple so i know you guys can figure it out by yourself mainly check c server locations when joining then go to fast flag copy my settings if you feel like it's mostly default then head to fast flag editor now the settings I'm going to show you are completely device and region based. It will definitely increase your FPS but the ping will depend on your specs. They can't directly lower it but it can help you fix stutters and unstable ping. I went from 90 consistent ping on SG, Singapore region to now 70. So it does prove benefits. They're in the link in the description. Now for our final step. But before that I have a quick step. Open your firewall and do exactly what I do. Roblox has some UDB ports that are oftentimes closed by your firewall device. So, you must open them to increase your Wi-Fi network speed. This alone can actually decrease your ping. Just copy paste the ports I've listed on screen and then save and continue to the final step. regional joining now remember the extension i've told you to download in the start well we'll be using that now follow along and and do what i exactly do Now ladies and gentlemen, for the final step, you must scroll down and manually search for servers which give you the lowest ping. As you could see, using Blockstrap and this extension, we can pinpoint the best regions. Just join whichever one gives you the lowest ping and stick to it. For private servers, it's mostly your luck, but it could work. The regions are random mostly. These steps help me go from 60 ping on average to around 70 on the low end and 60 on the lowest end in my region if you enjoy the video then please leave a like and consider subscribing because all i wanted with this video is to help you guys lower your pain for mobile users you can only try the dns tactic but you can also try to locate servers that give you the lowest ping with my due regards watch this video next if you want to master garo and become the best at it